Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a custom view um, a custom zip view in Swift and then import it into a UI view uh, so you can reuse the view in other places so if I call this custom zip view and basically what I'm going to be doing is creating a zip view and then creating a UI view here and I'm just going to be bringing that zip view into this and this is useful because you can reuse that view in other places so yeah now it is a bit tricky but I'm going to show you guys a really easy way to do it and step by step so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a view and what you want to do is you want to go to new file user interface and just add a view and I'm just going to call this custom view like that and you'll see that this is our view now the next thing you also need to do is we need to create a file for that uh, view so if you go to coke touch class make sure it's a subclass of UI view and then we can just call it the same thing we called the zip file so we'll just do this and now we have to link this file to this zip so we go to the file owner and we just make that that alright so once we've done that we can actually customize this view however you like so if I bring up the assistant it'll bring up this and we can customize this view so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring in a label and we'll just center that and no need to add any text we can customize that later so if I just create an outlet and I'll just call it um, I don't know a zip label like so alright so the next thing we want to be doing is we actually want to go into our file and we use crayon in it so and in it basically just initializes the view so that it can actually be shown and what we want to do is create a override in it um, frame and for this we're just creating the function so cd rect and we will just do super dot init uh, init and keep the frame as the current frame and then we also need to create a, uh, a required init and it should show that so if I just bring that up and uh, no need to show this all we need to do is we need to do super dot init coder and set that to the coder which was created up here and finally there's one more thing we need to do which is uh, to create an actual initialization which will just load this zip view into the actual view file so if I call this um, view init and um, we'll get the zip view uh, I'll just call it zip view is equal to bundle dot main dot load nib name and then the name is just whatever you called this view so for me it's custom view and I'll just type that in custom view the owner is self and for the options we leave that as nil but we need to get the first one in the iteration since there should only be one and we import it as a UI view alright and it's just asking me to force some wrap it so I'll just force some wrap it like that next thing we do is we just set the frame to the frame of the view which is trying to be imported in and then we can just add this as a sub view like that so this is our code in here this is basically all done so once you've done this, uh, you can just customize this view however you like and add the corresponding outlet. And once you've done that, you can actually go uh, to your view controller here or your main.storyboard and you can actually add a view in. So if I add in a UI view and I'll just give it a width and height constraint and also center it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it the view which we've just created here which is just the custom view and you'll see nothing comes up here but it'll come up when we load the app and I'll link this view so I can really call this anything um, I'll just call it custom view with a capital C so that it doesn't get confused with these lowercase c's but you can call this anything and once you've done that all you have to do is that's actually it but you might want to customize the label so first I'll run this as it is to show you guys that uh, this view will be inside of our regular view controller 
and hmm seems to me like something has happened uh, let me just see so oh I know what we forgot uh, we forgot to actually load this initialization in these coders so after these we can just run these two initializations and it should fix the issue I believe uh, let's just see yep so there it is so uh, you can see that this is our label which we made in this view um, and to make it even more clear what I could do is give this whole uh, outside view a background color so you can really see when the custom view starts which is just there and now you see that this is actually the custom view so if you wanted to change this label then all you have to do is since we've made an outlet here we can actually just go to our view controller and do custom view dot zip label dot text and we can change just anything so let's just say this is a custom view like that and to really prove the benefits of this um, what I'm going to do is if I make this minus 100 move that up and if I bring in a new UI view give it the same constraints except 100 on the uh, I think it's a horizontal I don't remember if I just give it 100 there and if I make this one um, custom view again but when I make an outlet I'm gonna do custom view 2 and now what we can do is we can do custom view 2 dot zip label dot text is this is another custom view and if I run this we should actually get two views and each of them actually having different text so yeah you can see how this could be very beneficial to your um, your app as you can create one view and then have it do many different things and if it was a button you could use delegates or you could just handle the action side of this itself and using by using tags you could differentiate but yeah thanks for watching and this is how you use custom zip views in um, Swift See you guys in a future tutorial. Bye.